the St. Louis Agency Training and Employment is committed to assisting individuals with disabilities gain employment. And here to share more is Accommodations for Success Project Lead James Sajeda and VR Assistant Director Kevin Rutledge. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. You two were working in two different departments, but you ended up collaborating. Talk to me about how that happened. Well, this is really is a partnership in putting this event on Accommodation for Success. And we're really excited about the partnership. Um, it includes our agency, St. Louis Agency on Training and Employment, and probably about 10 to 15 other agencies that provide services to people that have disabilities, along with um, about four or five other agencies in the uh, region that do employment services, job centers. So this is our third year, actually, where we've had a little practice at this. So <laughs> our third year of doing this event, and each year we kind of twist and turn it a little bit differently. So we've got a new component again this year, but we're doing it all in one day. Mm -hmm. Last year we did it over a two-day span. Wow. Mm -hmm. You are doing all of this because you're really trying to reach out and do something for people with disabilities as far as it pertains to work and training. Is that, a, is that a problem? Is that something that needs to be addressed? I can speak to that. Sure. The, um, the, the disability population is one that has been definitely underrepresented and underemployed historically in our country. I saw some statistics um, from last year that talked about the employment rate for individuals with disabilities. It's right at about 18% but the employment rate for those who do not have a disability is a little over 65%. Wow. Just to give you an idea. Wow. And you know, you wouldn't think that um, somebody who's got a disability is thinking about a job, but are they? I mean, you work with people with disabilities. Tell us what's going on with that. There, there's a huge population of people with disabilities who are seeking employment and they have skills and abilities. All they want is an opportunity to work and that's what we're really trying to do with this event is to promote the hiring of people with disabilities. So this is really giving those people a chance. Um, it's actually one in five people um, have a disability, which you know is hard to actually believe. But if you put five, every five people together, one of those five will have a disability. And you know, uh, when we think about disabilities, we think of the person in the wheelchair or someone um, who has a visible disability. But it's, it's actually 30% of the people um, that have a visible disability that uh, are part of that population. 70% of the people with disabilities, you can't see their disability. So People with um, disabilities also represent the largest minority group in the country. And it's the only minority group that any of us could join at any time. Wow. Say that again, that's like mind blowing. Mm -hmm. So people with disabilities represent the largest minority group in the United States and it's the only disability group that any of us could enter at any time. Wow, what mm -hmm. would you say to somebody who's sitting there going, well I don't know if they could really do the job or, you know, what do you say to somebody who says something like that? Our agency kind of focuses, and I know your agency mm -hmm. does too, on getting to the meat of what they can do instead of what they can't do. So by focusing on knowledge, skills, and abilities, and then doing some career exploration to kind of highlight those skills and abilities, and then we just go from there and promote those. And what, go ahead. Yeah, and, and, so, and so far as disabilities, we kind of de-emphasize the dis and emphasize the abilities. Right. Because a lot of these people do have um, uh, good abilities. We have someone who I work with, a coworker, who um, has a um, disability. She has MS, but she's an accountant and does a outstanding job. Um, wow. So people have the ability to do it just given the opportunity. Wow. All right, we have to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to talk a lot more about this really cool mm -hmm. reverse job fair yes. that you've got coming up. It's pretty exciting stuff. Yes. So <laughs> we'll do that in a minute. Stay with us at STL Live. We have more with Slate after this break.